Ladies, Kate Share here, and I'm going to do something that I've never done before. Give my predictions for a new season of an anime. And not just any. Um, if you haven't read the title already, this is in relation to the announcement of Love Life Superstar Season 3 being confirmed. I mean, I mean, yeah. If you guys saw the final episode of the anime before the announcement... You figured that a season three is gonna happen anyway. I mean, even after season one, you figured that this anime was gonna get multiple seasons anyway, due to um, where the direction of the anime was actually going. It's because then Kanon and the crew are gonna be third years. Um, Kinako and her friends are gonna be second years by that point. Then you got. Um, and then, yeah, the announcement also said um, they're they are also auditioning for new characters for the anime. So yeah, you figure you you know what's gonna happen. Like l like the Love Life Company is not being um, sneaky this time around. They're not they they didn't pull the old uh, switcheroo like they did with season two when they announced that Layla was not going to be a five member group but they were going to be adding more members yeah they're not going to do that because they figured yeah this is the formula how it's going to be now and um I actually saw this coming from a couple miles away actually because when before when they announced the season two of the anime coming out like at first people didn't know there was going to be even a season two like, if... Ugh, this camera's awful. Like, at first, people didn't know if there was going to be a season two of the anime because people thought, um... Layla was going to be strictly a five-member girl group, but then when Love Live made the announcement, that obviously didn't happen. And now everyone's just saying, yeah, yeah, like, we know the drill. For those of you, um... Um... If it's not, um, po like, um, obvious already, there's going to be spoilers for what I'm going to be talking about ahead. So, if you guys have not watched either season one or season two of the show, mostly season two of the show, if you haven't seen how it ended yet, I highly suggest that you don't watch this video at all at this point because... Most of my predictions, or most of what I'm going to say about the predictions of Season 3, are going to relate to the ending of Season 2. So, um, if you guys, um, end up spoiling yourselves, well, that was your choice to make. Um, I, I gave you a warning, so let's get on with it. So, to recap how, um, Season 2, Episode 12 ended. So... Layla wins Love Live. Like, they don't show you, like, the announcement that they won, but, but the camera pans, like, to the school, and it shows you the trophy. And it shows Cuckoo going, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, like, over the wind, because that's how you would expect her to act after season one. Finally, she gets some character from season one back. And, um, also, they're telling Kanon, um, your plane's about to leave. Like, you should be going to your study abroad by now. Like, like don't be here. Just go home and pack. Be because it looks like Kanan decided that she was going to go to Vienna. But then as um, Kanan is leaving, she bumps into Margaret, who is not wearing her, um, her middle school uniform. She's actually wearing the uh, Yubigaoka high school uniform instead, which Kanan is confused about. She's like, why are you wearing that uniform? Like, I thought we were going to Vienna. To which, uh, Margaret says, oh, your study abroad got canceled. Like, just flatlined, at, like, out of nowhere. But, I mean, if you know Margaret's character at this point, of course she'll be, um, like, neutral about it. And, um, Margaret and I think... The rest of Kanan's family were the only people who knew about the study abroad being canceled because a letter was sent to Kanan's house. And it looks like her parents or her parents and her sister were about to read it. 
But Conan had no idea that it was canceled until Margaret showed up to the school. And I'm assuming Margaret didn't assumed that Conan didn't know. So that's why she met her over there in the first place. But right after Margaret tells her the news, the episode just ends. Like, cut to the ending song. Anime's over. Like, season's over. So, most of my predictions are going to be based off of that ending scene because it really hangs on a cliffhanger. Like, oh, the new school year's approaching. Like, they have no idea what's going to happen then because obviously, Kana's not going to Vienna at that point. And Margaret ended up joining the school. So, Layla's going to be performing as usual with Kanan as the lead. Like I said, I knew somehow, because this is Love Live, that Kanan was not gonna go to Vienna. Like how um, Ayumu left for London at the end of season two for uh, Nijigasaki. But the difference is that I don't think Nijigasaki is gonna get a season three. Based on how that ended, it, it kind of went the traditional Love Live two season and then maybe they're gonna get a movie but i don't know i mean honestly this season two is like too abrupt for at least shigariko mia and longju because because if you give them a movie i would i would think that their characters would be better received than how they got in the anime of season two i mean it's it wasn't terrible but it wasn't really fleshed out either but other than that, I will give my opinions on that actually in my 12 Days of Anime videos that are coming out in December. And for those of you wondering if I'm going to do like a review or something on Love Life Superstar Season 1 and 2, I'm going to be doing that in December as well. So this video is mostly focused on Love Life Superstar predictions. So yeah, I knew Kanon was not going to go to Vienna. Like I saw that coming. And I knew that if Kanon wasn't gonna go to Vienna, that um, Margaret was also not gonna go to Vienna either. And I, in fact, I knew that she was gonna follow Kanon to her school. Like that was one of my first predictions that actually um, got solved at the end of season two. Like Margaret is the definition of a notice me senpai character. Like she obviously looks up to Kanon. Obviously Kanon has, is, like a genius like Hanukkah from Muse that she's the head of the group. She's the main star. She knew what she was doing with Layla. So that's why Layla's so successful. So Margaret just wants to know like how um, Kanan does it. And it was obvious that, um, that if Margaret were to drag, um, con on to Vienna that she would have more exclusivity I guess but at the same time though I think the reason why Margaret ended up actually this is another prediction too I think Margaret had something to do with um Conan's study abroad canceling because there was a scene um in the last episode where she and Conan are talking and I think Conan brings up the fact that she saw though really wanted um she really wanted Kanon to go because it was her dream to be a worldwide star and she and she saw though believed that Kanon like basically leaving Japan to study at what a more famous school in Europe was her better chance to be that worldwide star that she always wanted that staying in Japan as a school idol was not really going to do much of anything but at the same time Kanon's like she loves what she's doing now. And even though she had that dream before, she doesn't, like, she's not going to have anyone when she goes to Vienna. Like, Margaret and Kanan are not really friends. So even though they get to go together because they, like, know each other, they don't, like, know, know each other. Like, they're not tight-knit, like, Kanan to Chisato or Kanan to Cuckoo, even. Because if Cuckoo had went with her, they probably would enjoy themselves. But Kanan basically going by herself and not having those friends by her side, she was going to be miserable. Like, absolutely miserable there. 
And she's and she was probably going to be talking about how homesick she is and she wished she was back home in Japan all the time. And I think Margaret knew that. Like some like she knew that Kanon wasn't really going to be happy. Like as soon as she got went to that school in Vienna, so I think Margaret basically put her dream under Kanon's and and was like, you know what? I'm just gonna drop the ball. I'm just gonna put an end to this because clearly Kanon is that's not Kanon's destiny. And I'm not gonna put my destiny in hers. So that's why Margaret would rather have Kanon in a place where Kanon's more comfortable. I mean, for a Notice Me Senpai character, it's less selfish that way. But for those of you who have been watching my anime content for a long time, you know how much I really don't like Notice Me Senpai characters. Because a lot of them are the same person. Like, they'll ups- Like, it doesn't matter who, like, the senpai is. It could be a guy, girl, gender neutral. It doesn't matter. It could be literally ev- anyone. And the character's always like, Oh, my senpai's so perfect. And they only belong to me. And I'm just like, oh my god. Shut up. Like, if it were a horror anime, it would make more sense. And there have been horror anime that have done this really well. But if it's just a comedy or a slice of life or a drama show, it really does not work. The characters just, they have no other personality other than their purpose is to serve this senpai. And for a while, Margaret was at this route because she obviously puts Kanon on a high pedestal for she strives to be Kanon. Because if she can be Kanon in this perfectness, then she can get whatever she wants. <sighs> I don't know if... I know she's going to be in there for season three. That's why Margaret goes to Yui Gaoka High School so she can be with Kanon and learn from her how to be... I, I guess more of a perfect musician singer other than just a school idol because you know in the anime Margaret really has a beef with school idols for whatever reason well well actually there is a reason according to I, either she's from Austria or she's from Germany I don't remember like it says the school is in Austria and that's where her sister went that doesn't mean she lives there but I think she's Austrian like, she basically says in Europe, Love Live is really popular over there, too. And people obsess over it, so she really couldn't get away with it. Or get away from it. So maybe her inspiration to going to Japan it was not really Love Live based, but it's obviously, what do you Japanese musicians have that I don't? And she is going to basically be at Kanon's hip, like, trying to understand how this works, because... Whatever she was doing, it's not right. So that'll lead to my first prediction. Basically, because she obsesses over Kanon, Margaret is going to join Layla. Because that is like the only way possible that she could get close to Kanon. Despite her not having a thing against Love Live groups, and basically this got her cancelled in the Love Live realm, even though it got- yeah, it- yeah, people, basically, w when she lost against Layla in the um, qualifiers, she did cancel her herself by saying, like, oh, this is not fair. You, This is a scam competition. I demand a recount or something like that. And yeah, that's got her, that got her canceled. So I don't know how that's going to fare it, when she joins Layla, or I think if she joins Layla. I, but I think that's going to happen anyway, because Kanon's there. And she just wants to be with Kanon at all costs. So, of course, she's going to join the group. Because that's probably the only way she can do that. But, so, I, I hope or believe that's going to affect the plot in some way if that does happen. Which would probably make it really interesting because now it's Love Live, like, go going deep diving into cancel culture. But who knows? Who knows, really? And I already mentioned my second prediction, which was... I think Margaret had something to do with Kanon's study abroad getting cancelled, which 
I really, like, honestly, I really do believe that. It's kind of foretold in the end of the anime somehow, if you didn't read in between the lines of the character's body expressions or something in conversation. But I think when lo when season three starts, there's go the reason might be revealed at some point. I don't know. Actually, and before I go any further, I'm just going to list these predictions on what I most believe in to what I least believe in. Because what I least believe in, these are, I really don't have faith in these predictions. But it, and if it's, and it's more like if they do happen, okay, cool. But I know I, a lot of my Love Fly predictions have been wrong over the years. So actually, this is the first time that some of them have been right. So, uh, anyway, my third prediction was going to be if Layla does end up being a 12-member girl group, kind of like Nijigasaki is, because at this point, Love Live has already went above and beyond with expect- like, like, side-wiping expectations from their fans. Like, they thought um, Nijigasaki was only going to be a 9-member girl group because that's what happened with Muse, that's what happened with Aquas. But no, they added more members, and the fandom was like, okay. Like, they were weirded out at first, but they were like, okay, I'm accepting the change. And then when Layla debuted as five members, they were like, okay, this even is weirder. But, um, fine, we'll accept the change. And then Layla became a nine-member girl group, and they were like, okay, what's going on here? So if they do end up being 12 members, and that's a really big if... I don't even know if this is going to happen because even like the announcement of the audition said they don't know how many girls they're going to accept, but they're auditioning. So it might be, but what I'm thinking is if it's going to be 12 members, so for the upcoming third years, that's Kanan and her friends, they are five. And then you have the first years from the past season. They're going to be second years now. So that's four. 5 plus 4 equals 9. And then what would equal 12 is then there's going to be three first years that are coming into the new semester. And and if the my other prediction is going to be correct, it may or may not include Margaret that in the three. But if Margaret is going to join Layla, so before the two new members... Layla's already at 10, so they're just going to add two more new people. I, again, I don't know if the 12 members thing is going to be a thing. The only reason why I'm thinking that is because Nijigasaki is their highest member group so far with 12 members. Well, 13 if you count you, but you is not, you's not an idol. She's just a supporter, but then she became like the pianist of the group. She became um, the songwriter. So technically in the club sense, yes, it's 13 members, but in the idol sense, it's 12 because there's 12 idols and then 13 club members. Does that make sense? So, um, so if we're going to speak in the 12 idol sense, if Margaret joins the group, then they're going to be auditioning for two more girls. At least that's what I think. I'll, I will be surprised if they add more members. Like, if there's going to be, like, I don't know, four, it ends up being, including Margaret, four first years. Which, that's interesting, okay? Like, I don't know if the number 13 is, like, a lucky or an unlucky number over there, but who knows? Again, like, this third prediction is, like, mid-confidence because, again, I don't even know if they're going to do 12 members or not. Or I don't know if they're even going to do 13. I don't, I don't know. So anyway, but we're just going to put a pin in that. So my fourth prediction, I don't know how much weight this is going to carry because in the, in the, um, season two, how they dealt with equalizing the new characters with the old characters in building development was kind of underwhelming because, uh, I felt like 12 episodes was, like, not enough time for not only to introduce ourselves to the new characters and then reintroduce ourselves to the old characters and then you throw the plot mixed right in. I don't think it was enough. I don't think it was enough time at all. 
But for the third season, I really think that the first gen, the upcoming third year characters, they're go really going to take a back seat. Like, in season three. Because I feel like most of their stories, maybe not, maybe except Kanon's, and maybe Chisato in there somewhere, they're done. Like, there's really not more story to tell, because with Ren, you already, we already solved her problem with, like, her mother's legacy. Like, how Ren was gonna build her mother's legacy. With Sumire, she... It looks more comfortable with herself of being a school idol, regardless of her failing in show business. With Cuckoo, because she won Love Live, obviously she's going to be staying in Japan and not going home to China. So her story is done. Like, she, since she's not going back to Shanghai... Like she, like her story is basically done. She like, but I really hope that in season three she 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 doesn't keep up with this bitchy attitude with Sumire because I hated that. Like, like again, I'm gonna talk about that more in December, and trust me, I will get there. But in season three, like obviously you're gonna have the newer first years come in because these are the newer characters. You're gonna talk more about them. But then you're going to get more of the upcoming second years. Because we did not get too much of, of them when they were in season two. But we're def- I hope we're going to get more of that. Like, I want more Shiki and Mei interaction. I want, um, Natsumi- I think that's her name, like, Natsumi, the p blonde and pink-haired one. Like, I want her to start, like- growing as a character from this first she's a money and fame like hungry person and now she she's becoming more confident in her skills especially because now she's in a love life winning group and then hopefully like kinako will also like grow into her own as a leader type person too because she's obviously a almost a like a brunette haired copy of kanan in a way so maybe, I hope that's going to happen. And then, of course, you're going to throw the new first years in there. And I, and then we hope to learn more about them as well. I think I'm getting more confident in this opinion as I get, or as I talk more about it. So, yeah, that's what I think about that. And now I'm going to get to the two last opinions that I really don't have much confidence in at all. And the, my first one, is, or the first one of those um, two lesser opinions is, I don't think Layla's gonna win the next Love Live. And I don't know if it's because, oh, because they won the first one, then to uh, mix things up, they're gonna lose the next one. Or it's because if Margaret does end up joining Layla, it might give them a not-so-good reputation because Margaret did not give herself a good reputation when she lost the love live. And again, I'm not confident in this opinion because at this point, love live can just do anything they want. And, and, um, and I'm just sitting here like, I'm just rolling with, with the, rolling with the flow here with love live at this point. They could just throw anything at me and I'd either be satisfied or I'd either be meh. And then the second of those two lesser opinions is, um, I think in this third season, Love Live may go back to its traditional form and basically have a season four on top of it. But season three is only going to be the spring and summer seasons like, um, like how, um, Love Live School Out of Project, Love Live Sunshine, and Nijigasaki have done. I mean, it makes it all makes sense though, because one, you're gonna have more characters, so you're gonna need like a bunch more wiggle room if you want all those characters like to you know interact and do things and tell story. Like, I don't think twelve episodes is gonna be enough. Like, 12 episodes definitely was not enough for, um, School on a Project, Aqua's 
and uh, Nijikazaki in the first place. Like, they needed more story to tell for that. And secondly, because you have more of those characters, like, this is how they're gonna get, like, because they have more members, they're gonna really get into the nitty gritty of how each character deals with the love life and how their skills grow. They're probably gonna have more songs thrown in there because, again, I'm gonna talk about this in December, but I thought most of the songs from season two were kind of underwhelming also. I mean, some of them were good. And the opening is a banger. But if, um, if basically Love Live with Layla is going to do the thing that they're only going to get new songs when the new anime comes out, then at this point, with how many girls they're going to add into the group, they need to split, like, the whole school year in half. Especially considering this is going to be the last year of the first gen girls. So Kanon, Kuku, Chisato, Sumire, and Ren, this is going to be their final year. Like, they're, if they're going to end this series out with a bang, I think, kind of like Fruits Basket in a way, season three is going to be like half of the school year. So starting it from spring to the end of summer. And then season four is going to be like beginning of fall until like New Year's or, or like the... The, the, or the beginning of the third year for Kinako and Friends. I mean, I honestly, I hope they do it like that because that means more Love Life content for us. But if they don't, that probably means they're going to leave room for a Superstars movie. And, which, they, they have to do that because they did that with Muse. They did that with Aquas. They're probably going to do that with Nijigasaki too at some point, but I don't know. Like, they're really not giving us hints about Nijigasaki right now, because after season two, they're just like, okay, we're just gonna roll back a bit and focus on Love Life All-Stars and also the school school festival um, two game that's gonna come out in 2023. Or or did they say, like, Christmas in 20... No, I think they said 2023 that game's coming out. But anyway, I'm getting tired. I've talked a lot about what I think is going to happen. And um, I'm not going to be that person who's going to be upset if certain things don't happen. Because like I said, Love Live has thrown curl, like curled balls at the fans for years. And they're going to continue doing that. Like, they're not going to be predictable. I mean, they're predictable in some ways, but in other times they're really not. So I'm just going to leave this video as is. And, and if that happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not gonna do a follow-up video where it's like, Oh, here's what I got right! Here's what I got wrong! Like, I just don't have the energy to do that. So with that said, thank you guys for joining me. And if you guys liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. Th throw some comments down below if you guys are interested. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell in case you haven't done that yet and you want to catch up with my other videos. And also hit me up in the socials down in the description box so you can follow what I do outside of YouTube. I'm Kate Sharon. It's been real. Ciao!